Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you a quick video on how exactly I've been doing my paper clips that I've been doing for the whole month of June. I do think I'm going to do some more of them in July. Am I going to do them every day? I don't know. <laughs> um, I got the idea from Lollipalooza. I'm, I will link her channel in the description below. Um, I really was inspired by one in particular video of hers that she, where she showed she was making paper clips. And if I can find that particular video, I will link it in the description below. Um, for the base of the paper clip, she used um, a craft stick from Michaels. Um, it comes in a 30 piece pack. It's by Creatology and she calls them short fat popsicle sticks. And it's actually the one you see me here using and gluing to that scrapbooking paper. There's also another one that they have that I got when I was there um, that just is called Wood Shapes. It's another 30 piece pack. And it has ovals and different sizes of rounds and teardrop shapes. Um, and they are both found in, I was just looking to see if it had any other name on it. It doesn't. They are both found in the kids craft um, section of Michael's, you know, where they have the pom poms and the felt and the jingle bells and stuff like that. So look for them um, in your uh, Michael's store. I like these particular shapes because I really enjoy doing the paperclip art with a four inch paperclip. I um, buy them when I see them, but generally speaking, I have to order them from Amazon. So that also is something I'll link, link in the description below. Um, other than that, you can use what you have, papers that you have, glues that you have. Um, here you see me using some old scrapping booking paper, to be honest, I forgot I had. Um, I've been trying to use up what's in my stash and some tacky glue uh, to glue a piece on both sides. And although the back side, AKA ugly side, is gonna have the paper clip on it, um, I do want it to have a piece of scrapbooking paper or something on there rather than just raw wood. Um, so I start with covering always the front and back of whatever little wood piece that I'm gonna use. Um, and in this case, you see the paper clip to the right there between the wood piece and the, and the uh, ballpoint pen. This happens to be about a two and a half inch paper clip. Um, it's not my usual four inch one, um, but it's one I had in my stash and it already had sort of a metal charm at the top. So I wanted to use that. On my desk happened to be lots of small, crazy little bits of ephemera, including um, that butterfly stamp and um, random bits of paper and pieces of lace and I literally just look through what's on the table until I find things that inspire me to put them on the paper clip. I did just get a um, bunch of happy mail sent to me by Carolyn Shanks and between this paper clip and an ATC card that I did I used just about all the um, happy mail so thank you Carolyn that was great. Um, I have random little bits of all kinds of stuff. Well, there's my messy bun right in the way. Hello. You can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I was just layering a little piece of a security envelope underneath the postage stamp and my that letter G right on top. And then I have um, some printed out words and quotes um, from my Etsy shop. And so I'm going to pick one that I think will work on the paper clip. And I will, usually I stick it to a little piece of paper, which I do believe I do in this case too. And then I cut it out from the piece of paper and then glue that to the wood that's gonna be the front of the paper clip. The other thing that I do to attach the paper clip to the back that you'll see me do in just a minute um, is I don't just glue it with a glue it by itself or glue it with a piece of paper. You could, I guess, do that. I want it to, to be a bit more secure than that. So I did do the first couple of paper clips um, that I ever did with uh, paper. Then I realized I have a bunch of Tyvek envelopes. Why don't I just grab one of those? So I use a piece of Tyvek envelope. If you don't know what that is, that is the kind of envelope that um, feels like it's almost fabric-y um, in construction and it's difficult to tear. In fact, you can't tear it. You have to cut it open when you get a package in the mail that's on uh, Tyvek. So here I'm just using tacky glue um, to glue all my pieces, not only to each other, but to the paperclip. 
I don't mind if they hang off the edge. I'm not going to trim it. She sent me this really cool letter G for Gina. <laughs> so I'm going to use that too. Then I'm going to take the quote that I picked, which I don't remember at this moment what it says. And I'm not sure we can read it on camera. It's pretty little. So these quotes are printed pretty little so that they will fit on the paper clips and also um, so that they will fit on the um, artist trading co coins, which I was also doing in the month of June. <clears throat> Sometimes they're still too big and I've got to cut them apart, but usually I can, um, if they're that size or shorter, I can just fit it the way it is. So I stick it to the little piece of paper and then I trim it out from the little piece of paper and then I glue it onto the front of the paper clip, the wood base for the paper clip. Again, we're just using tacky glue. Every now and then if something is heavy um, or non-absorbent like a metal piece or a plastic piece, then I will use E6000 glue. Um, but otherwise, generally it's tacky glue. Okay, so we're going to let that set for just a second. I am going to grab some flat back gems. Now, the flat back gems here that I'm using are from back in the day when we were all melting perler beads in toaster ovens. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> if you're new to the mixed media game, you may not remember what I'm talking about, but just type in to YouTube melted perler beads. <laughs> Something should come up from somebody. Um, I have bunches of them from back in the day still, and I've been using them up. And so I attach those also with tacky glue. I slide my little piece of Tyvek envelope under the paper clip. The, the longer part of the paper clip gets glued to the back of the wood piece. And the shorter end is free, and that's where you can actually clip this to a piece of paper. So I carefully pick it up because everything, of course, is wet, and I can't be bothered to wait for anything to dry. I slide it up onto the paper clip, having the little charm dangle up over the top. Carefully flip it over. Push the Tyvek and the tacky glue down onto the backing piece of paper. Make sure the paper clip is straight. I usually grab a couple of binder clips after I give it some kind of a little trim. And I attach the binder clips to the piece to the paper clip and the piece of Tyvek and as a, like a mini clamp and leave it there to let it dry. And that holds everything together while it dries. Tacky glue doesn't dry immediately, so you have some working time, open time, to um, really get everything positioned properly so that it can sit and dry. So here we are. It's dry or just about dry. Oh, no, sorry. I lied. Here we are putting the binder clips on. <laughs> And then you just let it dry. And once it's dry, you can slide a piece of slide it onto a piece of paper or a journal cover or a journal spine for that matter to decorate that. Or even you could line them up on a piece of string or a clothesline and hang them on the wall of your art room. That would be fun too. That basket you see is all of the paper clips I've made for the month of June. It's crazy, right? I know. Anyway, they are a lot of fun to make. I'm going to keep making them. They're fun little projects. And here I'm just, it's still wet, but I'm going to unclip it and just kind of show you what it looks like on a piece of paper. I don't want to push it down too far because, again, it's wet. But it will, it would slide generally all the way down. But there you go. That's a piece of cardstock, by the way. Anyway, have some fun with it. Show Lolly some love. Go check her out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the description below. And don't forget to go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Check the description out for links, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.